realistically speaking you always have to have somebody who is smarter than you who is brighter than you but where you have to make work work do it work where, what is working for you so if you don't know what to do you just have to take the time you have to you have to take a lot of time and you never leave a problem never leave a problem start from the basics always start from the basics don't overthink because my boss always told me to that uh sometimes i overthink things i'm always like uh, make something bigger than what it is like it's a simple solution but me always i like i think way out of the box way if it is always what, what i advise you to do if you're a young engineer always just take take always try to do your background checks do your research gather your facts start from the basics if you have a problem get all of the facts and not just look at the problem itself that's the next thing you can't just look at a, a problem um in isolation you have to look at all of the factors that influence because that was one of the things that i learned when i just started working but because i was working in one area i was looking at the problem to say how it if i fix this problem and it's gonna make my area better yeah that would have good in my head but i learned that you can never look at a problem in isolation outside of the process it's a whole process you have different areas and everything is when you're in a process everything that you do in your era it affects another area in some way it affects the process in some way so you can never look at problem in, in isolation and another problem that i realized and another problem is comparison as an engineer you tend for you always have other engineers as i mentioned in a video that i did before engineers always seem like they're in a competitive mode them always want to outdo themselves and outdo everybody else but you can't you can't put yourself in a place where you compare yourself too much with people you always have to have somebody who's smarter than you realistically speaking you always have to have somebody who's smarter than you who's brighter than you but where you have to make work work do a work where what is working for you work with what is working for you that is what i did but my, my, my highlight my strong points i know some are good with talking to people i good with relating to people and all that so i make that work for me for get information for do my work for get things done in the era so i make that work for me i know how to do certain things i just kind of just emphasize on that i just kind of make that work for me i i do a lot of background checks I do a lot of looking outside of the box that I'm working with. I'm just always a girl. I'm not trying to feel like my need for reach to where another person is at as an engineer. I don't try to basically compare myself with people. I am I try to be happy for other engineers. So when an engineer discovers something or an engineer does something and it works for them, take out a, take from that experience take from it and see what you can learn personally for your own self-development what can i take out of this situation don't compare yourself with other persons that are gonna kill you don't stay in your lane and don't feel like you need to reach where other person is just do your work my boss always told me just do your work you're not worried about what next person i do you don't have to feel like you need to send out a bag of email and make nobody look bad don't do that don't try to make people look bad don't try to like kill a man if they make a mistake or whatever don't try to kill a man because everybody just a try to get them bread everybody just a try to just make the process work i know you alone want the process to run i know you alone want to make production so you don't have to feel like you need to drag an next person to make yourself look good and sometimes that was one of the things that i realized was one of the big struggles that we encountered on the plant was that people always you always have engineers basically trying to make other people look bad so that they could look good you have to just humble yourself that in your job or whatever you're doing humble yourself remain humble and just wait your turn until your day come because everybody day come always be prepared especially when you're going to a meeting with managers and the bosses and all of that you have to, you have to be prepared try and make sure so you're on top of it was hard that was one of the hard struggles that we, i encountered as an engineer was you always have to know 100 percent of everything we are happening in your area at all times all the time you have to be the person somebody not supposed to come your boss is supposed to call and I say what is happening over there so i heard that this unit is offline and you don't know so the unit offline you're completely out of it you're gonna say okay no you have, to, you have to try to know everything it's hard honestly and you're not always going to get it correct but it's one of the things that i would advise you to do 
to be an excellent engineer you always have to try to know be on top of everything that is happening in the area I always know everything that is happening in the whole plant I always try to make sure say your operators respect you too because if you operate if you, if you, if you, if you not because you have the power to talk to the operators any type of way or to talk to them and tell them to do stuff and do work and this that 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 the means enough to form a relationship and a bond with them where they respect you and you respect them considering most of the time that even they are older people than you you still have to respect them they are picking you older than you so the next thing when you, when you allow your operators to respect you and you give them respect and make them feel important in the process and then like you just said use them to get your numbers and I use them to get information then the people we go to them we have to call you and tell you say something wrong because you and give your heads up and say some off or ask you say um like advice for advice what should we do and all of that because when when operators call you and ask you for advice it it shows that they trust you enough to basically guide them and if something goes wrong you are in the loop and your boss now go to call you and you completely not know not what is happening in the whole plant. And next thing too is that you're not really having a personal life. It's so in a type of way but it's the reality. As an engineer who dedicated to their work, it kind of deplete your personal life. You're on call 24-7. Especially depending on the type of job that you have. Probably some engineers um, have the opportunity to basically work from 9 to 5 and go home. And all of that but persons who are like responsible for air or an operate operate a unit operation in the process are an equipment they don't really have the luxury of nine to five engineers kind of just 24 7 as long as the process is in, in operation you're on call and if something goes wrong you have to leave your life leave anything you had enough time you have to enough leave my home in the middle of whatever situation I was in and go back to work that was like one of the most painful situations. I was all enthused about it in the beginning, but after a while, it kind of wear you out. So just keep subscribe to my video. Please subscribe to my video and like my video and leave your comments below. And take care. Bye.